Guys, so the last cast, game one between Justin and Shimika, what happened was that uh, I was I was working with some video resolution stuff. Uh, the the recording software was kind of messing up. Going to the Sony Vegas Pro 12, looking at the footage, I realized halfway through, after changing some settings, that it was all black. So obviously not workable footage. Anyways, so in this game. In the top left corner, we have Paku Paku playing the blue Zerg, and on the top right, we have Shammy playing the red Terran. Dropping those names. All right, so we have uh, the supply depot dropping down for Shimuka. Standard timing, ten eleven. Over here, we have standard avoid that drone. Mm. So, with this with this series in particular between Justin and Shimika, a lot of video problems. Uh, recording it, I think I had some lag because I was running videos at the time as well. Uh, I think the last game, game number three, in, in the nine minute mark, I was experiencing a lot of lag. Actually, my internet dropped. The Skype call dropped. So I did some editing to try to work around that. Cut the the blank space out. Probably the worst, worst series in terms of quality with commentary and with video, but of course, it reflects the gameplay, because this is probably the worst gameplay I've seen yet out of this series. Anyways, got, this, got the barracks dropping, look at the supply, the spawning pool, I'd say around 14, 15 supply, alright, giving each other a little bump, That those scouts, man. Alright, so we see... Over here, we have an SCV building a proxy barracks right under the base of the Terran player because, hey, the Zerg player will never see it. It's, 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 it's all about mind games because, you see, he's like, oh man, this guy only has one barracks. He won't get out that many Marines. But then over here, hot psych! More Marine production. Alright, over here we got the Overlord chilling out next to the Terran base. Back to the base of Paku Paku. What do we have? We got the spotting pool. We have just things I guess overlord is being built two at a time very interesting choice all right marine counts building up barracks this proxy barracks building has another one ready to be built all right <laughs> you got the hatchery building on the side of Paku Paku the expansion up around 20 supply both overlords pop you feel like a lot of supply don't want to supply block yourself very very dangerous pitfall in low level play like this, no one, yes, no one going for early gas, 20 supply, no gas, Zerg players, oh, has the gas right now, Zerg players going for heavy expansion builds don't really need early gas because what they'll do is they'll get an expansion, they might even get a third, and really, the only time you'll get gas early on, kind of coinciding with your spawning pool, is when you want that early link speed. Very popular trick that Brandon actually uses a lot. Alright, so we have the second barracks just about to finish. Marine count building up. We got around five Marines over here. More building from both. Oh, no. It's just a bit of supply block right now. So we see the depot being popped. Good use of mineral count, though, meaning that he's not wasting anything. Meanwhile, the Paku Paku has already amassed 800 minerals. Expansion's about to pop. Just working on that drone count. Mmm. Alright, marine count. A lot of marines built up. Has them all. Hot keep. Good job. Hot key those buildings. Very useful. Still no gas on the side of Terran player. Terran players want to get gas early on because it lets them get, you know, the add-ons for their add-ons for their structures. It lets them tech up more. Inside of Paku Paku, we got more Queens building, we got an overlord, got a drone. Not nothing too exciting right now. Have a expansion coming down around the 35 minute, 35 supply mark for the Terran player. Marine counts at nine right now. Making keeping up with that supply, making sure that SCV is constantly building depots. Very good. So we got the two proxy barracks right underneath the Terran's base. You see, if I go to the vision, right? Vision. Oh, he's moving out right now. Go to the vision. He doesn't know they're there. Ha! Huh. Mind games. All right, so we have movement coming around for the Terran player, moving out with around nine Marines. There is no no offensive units on the base of the Zerk player. Only has a queen, which will melt very quickly to, well, which will melt very quickly to this small force of Marines. Let me drop that. 
All right, Overlord coming out. I'm gonna distract these Marines. Yeah, see the Marines. It's, it's a tactic. You use your Overlords to distract your opponent to buy yourself some time to, of course, do nothing because there is a Roach Warden being dropped down. A bit late of a response, I'd say. Marine Marines are targeting the hatchery at the expansion. Observers dropping the Go Shammy Go. Yeah, shoot that hatchery. Meanwhile, in the main base, what do we have? We have the Roach Warden about halfway finished. We have a queen just chilling out. We have larva, a lot of them. Four overlords pop from the side of Paku Paku. After this hatchery falls, again, distractions. These overlords are going to Oh, no, Broodling's doing some damage. Let's see how many are left. We have eight Marines. We have units lost. We have 900 units lost on the side of the Zerg player. And only one Marine, 50, 50 minerals lost on the side of the Terran player. See, these overlords, right now they're distracting, buying time for that war torrent to pop. Look how many roaches we got. We got a ton of roaches ready to pop, ready to do a lot of damage before those overlords die too. See, it's all timed in a specific way so that you have the supply. Oh, overlord, overlords, ah, roaches pop. Start attacking the marines. This is the amount of roaches will do quick work to these marines. Targeting the overlord once to get those last two shots off before he dies. All right, quick reduction. On the side of the Terran player, we just have units. 29 SCVs on this main, oversaturated, far oversaturated, meaning that there is no efficiency. Needs to move some of these over to that expansion. Production, we have a lair coming out. We have another hatchery building on the side of Paku Paku. Wait, no, wait, what the heck? Oh yeah, the hatchery at the extension. So yes, building that again. Moving out with his roaches. Force of around nine roaches, same as the marines, but again, roaches are far superior units to marines. Over here we see force of, oh, at least 24, but not attack moving his units. The roaches have free losses. In this last tab, we have 1100 to 500. You know, the Russian tab again. We see burrows being researched as, as well as glial rec reconstitution. What does that do? That increases the move speed of the roaches. Very important for roaches because they need their assault creatures. They need to move fast. Got to go fast. All right, hatchery is about I'd say three fourths done. Marine moving out. We got a reinforcing force of roaches. Gonna bait these marines into the into the natural berserk player. Gonna make quick work of these marines. This roach count very large right now. Let's see here. All right, so you got engagement going on. Roach is pushing the reins back. All of them melting, literally, from acid. Alright. Follow this exciting battle. Now the Zerg player moves back. Oh no, baits, baits the marines! I don't know what I'm watching, to be honest. Baits the marines back. Reinforcing roaches. About six of them came in, I think. Look at units active. We have 17 roaches to 22 marines. Almost close, like very close in number, but again, roaches are super powerful units against these marines. Where is my mouse? Check the check the roaches. You see, as the saliva, 16 damage. A lot of damage coming out. Yeah. All right, marines sitting on the the zone like a watchtower. They're going to see these roaches push out when they do. Uh, a lot of minerals sort up for the Terran player. Saturation is, is now full, but needs to build extractors on these two. Start mining some gas. So we'll have some gas. Less mineral income, but man, you have a lot of minerals. All right, proxy barracks. Finally getting those add-ons. So marauders are coming out right now, as well as nothing from this barracks, I guess. Ugh, excuse me. So we have the extractors finally being built. We have a force of around uh, 24 roaches over here. 26. Okay, two more coming. All right, looks like we're moving out. Burrow is researched, I, I believe. Yes, burrow is researched. Should should burrow those roaches to make sure they can heal. I'm gonna follow these around. Up, oh, we're gonna go in under the marines, but it looks like they're gonna engage. But ooh, getting the surround on those marines. You see, the surround of the roaches is very important. It's not like they can they can shoot things in a range. Observers dropping the wrecked. Going up to the gold, but sees nothing. Reinforcing roaches coming. These are a lot of roaches. 33 roaches. Gonna make quick work of these 18 marines. 17. Oh, all of them melting, but does he have the good concave on that choke? 
a lot of the roaches aren't attacking, but this is just too many roaches. So, six screens left. Roach is finally able to head up the ramp, destroy all the marines, and all players leave the game. GG!